Hello, hola. Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Uh, today I've been previously playing with a split cup and some colors. If the camera turned off, <laughs> nothing worked. And then I changed everything and it's beautiful. I'll show you a picture later. But it had nothing to do with the split cup, believe me. But I still have some paint left in it. And I don't know how you guys work with these silicone split cups because this is just weird for me. It comes out really crooked, all the yellow and gold pours out in blobs, and these don't come out straight. I think I may get a hard-sided split cup. But right now, I still have some paint left from the last pour in here. And I thought, let's pour it onto this poor little canvas that's been scraped three times and see if we can make something pretty. I'm just going to put a bit more paint in here. These paints I have mixed with my pouring medium blend, and I mix three parts Floetrol, two parts glue, and one part water. And then I mix it with my paints. These are uh, Liquitex, some Liquitex, some Arteza. And I've mixed them together just to make colors that I like. And these are one part paint, two parts pouring medium. So they're a thick consistency. I have some gold, some violet and dioxazine purple mixed together, some titanium white, some mixed reds, and some mixed yellows. And let's see if we can make something pretty on this little six inch round canvas or if it's going to get scraped three times today. Poor little thing. All right, I'm going to put a little blob of white in the middle to pour into. Spread that out. I'm going to put a bit more. Yes, because I want a bit more coverage. We made a lovely egg. All right, I'm going to try and pour this using two hands to see whether we can control how the colors come out. All right, here goes. Not really. It's nice and fine. Let's just pour the whole thing straight exactly the way that it is. See that? Even though we're trying to keep it perfect, it is not perfect. It's acting like it's run out of paint, which it has not remotely run out of paint. There's lots left in here. I'm not even breathing anymore, trying to keep this pouring in the same spot nice and fine. I'm going to move it over a little bit because I realize it's no longer centered. I've been too busy trying to hold my breath to pay any attention to where it is. Oops, it's about to blob. It blobbed. Okay, I'm going to stop. Ah, what a bummer. Because it was looking so great until, yeah, we're not going to use that again. <laughs> That's not going to happen again. I'm not wasting paint on something that we don't have control over. But look how absolutely stunning it was up until that time. So I'm trying to think of what I can do to save that little circle. And that little horrible circle, I might just do a little twist, a little dip and twist with this little cup bottom. That looks rather, rather cute. I think we're just going to leave that. Let's just leave that little detail. Try and center this paint. And then we'll spin it out. Interesting little detail in the middle. I quite like it. I think I'm going to just spread out this white. I might put a bit more on here. 
spread out the white. Yeah, sorry, that, <laughs> that silicone split cup is not getting any love from me until I can figure out some way to control it. Oh well, hopefully I can find a better one to use in the future. All right, here goes. Let's spin this. I'm just going to help that over the side. <laughs> Lovely. One more spin. Seeing if I can center that detail a little bit. have to be symmetrical but it's just off just enough that yeah you know, it's kind of driving me crazy so let's see if we can change that wow that's kind of cool that is kind of cool I like that I like it it's pretty let's see if I can just get the sides Looking good, finding the paint that matches what dripped down the side. Some purple over here that's a bare spot, so maybe you guys can see. Just adding, picking up the extra purple and adding it so that it drips down. Looks pretty. We're going to need a lot more purple. I might just dig some out of the cup. <laughs> We'll get that. We'll get that done. So I do want the sides to be pretty. I'm just gonna dig purple paint out of the split cup. And the rest is covered beautifully. I love it. And I'm really happy that something lovely was painted on this poor little circle that got scraped so often today. Nobody should have a three scrape day. There's one stubborn little air bubble there. You can see some of those air bubbles have popped up. But it's not too bad, not too many. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just give it a little spritz of rubbing alcohol. because there's a lot of very, very fine air bubbles in there. And I don't want to keep torching it because it's sitting on plastic. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, I'm going to set this aside to dry. And I will show you the dried one at the end of the video. But I think it turned out really, really sweet. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, indulging me in this thing, which we won't be using again. <laughs> and, uh, you know... That's just how it goes. It doesn't always turn out perfect, does it? But look, we used leftovers of a tool that we didn't even like and we got something really, really pretty. So, you know, I call that one a success. Please go paint something beautiful, have some fun, create yourself something that you really, really enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>